Let's begin the tutorial by opening Alice. When Alice is finished loading, we need to create a new world. So we go up to File and select New World. We then have a choice of what kind of world we would like to create. We can do snow or dirt, grass. Let's do sand. So I double clicked on sand and you can see it created a new sand world. If you want to make your viewing screen bigger, you can drag these blue bars up and down. Now that we have a blank sand world, we need to add an object. To do this, we click on the Add Objects button right here. After clicking on the green Add Objects button, we'll be given a choice of which objects we would like to add from the object library. You can browse through the object library by pulling the scroll bar left and right. And it will give you a choice of different categories. Since we're in the desert, let's do Egypt. Now that we're inside the Egypt category, we can choose from the different Egypt objects that we can add to the sand world. So let's start by adding a pyramid. When I click on the pyramid, it'll ask us, do we want to add an instance to the world? So I click this, and voila, we have a pyramid. Now the first task, the first challenge that we're going to do is we're going to try to fly around the pyramid using the built-in Alice controls. With this control, we can move up and down, or we can fly left and right. With the middle control, we can fly forwards, backwards, or we can turn left and right. With the tilt forward and backwards, we can either look down or look up. Now I'm going to click and hold down the mouse button and then drag it way up to make me go super fast and then I'll move to the left and as you can see I made a complete loop around the pyramid and position myself back in front. Now I want to teach you some Alice object controls. As you can see over here we have different Alice controls to control the objects. Now this button right here, just the arrow, allows us to click and drag and we can drag stuff forward and backwards. This one lets us move objects up and down. The third one lets us rotate objects. The fourth one lets us turn objects forwards and backwards and if ever our objects not placed right we can always hit undo to go backwards now the fifth button is tumble and that lets us tumble the object around I'm gonna hit undo and then of course there's resize to make it itty bitty or make it really big alright we want it right there and then there's copy objects so we can make duplicates but I'm gonna undo by deleting these objects by right clicking and going to delete so that we only have one pyramid alright great now we have added a pyramid and it's time to you guess it add a mummy so I'm gonna add it a different way I'm gonna click on it and drag it right in front of our pyramid and using the Alice controls, I'm going to fly in really close to get a nice look at our mummy. A little bit too close. Okay. Now, I can turn the mummy left and right. And there's also some keyboard shortcuts to do this. And I'm going to turn on the Effect Subparts button. So I turned on Effect Subparts and what this allows me to do is manipulate individual mummy parts
So I'll undo all those and get them back to normal. And then I'm going to click on the mummy over here on the left. This is our object tree, which gives us direct access to all of our objects inside of the 3D world. So when I click mummy, it gives me access to some, some of the mummy's properties. And I'll click this properties tab right here. Okay, now you'll notice there's a button right here called Capture Pose. Now I want to make sure that I don't have one of his body parts selected. I want to make sure I have, because see, I can click this plus and minus sign and get access to the mummy's different body parts. But I want to make sure that I have the, the mummy, just the mummy, the whole mummy selected, and then click this Capture Pose button which is going to capture that pose of the mummy. So I click Capture Pose, and you'll see it create, created a pose. All right, so now what I can do is I can reposition the mummy with his hands up and his head to, the, to his left, and I can capture a new pose by clicking the Capture Pose button. And now I have Pose 2. So remember the first pose was his arm sticking out, and the second pose are his arms sticking up. So now I'm going to make a new pose and always make sure this Effect Subparts button is checked. I'm going to make a new pose by bringing his arm down twisting him that way. Wait, let me bring his arm down. Sometimes the way you're, you look at him makes it operate differently. So this will be a twist that way. Capture Pose. Now I'm going to bring him back to facing me, and then I'm going to do an, a leg kick and head up and capture pose. So now I have four poses. Now I can restore the mummy to any of these poses by right clicking the mummy object and going to methods and then set pose. And I'm going to set his pose to the original pose, just like that. Now I can hit done and exit out of the object manipulation mode and I'm in the programming mode. And you can see here I have access to, um, a, I can write code for my program. So I'm going to click mummy and then click properties and then I'll be in the, the pose area. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say set pose by dragging that over. So mummy set pose to pose 2 and then set pose to pose 3 and then set pose to pose 4 and then set pose back to pose 1. Now I can simulate this code by clicking the play button up here. So watch what happens when I hit play. It animates the mummy from pose 1 to pose 2 and I can click restart and it'll do it again. So this is a great way to make animations in Alice. So I click done. Now I'm going to introduce some a programming technique called a loop. So if you look down here, we have different um, different actions we can perform in our code. So.